I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be here. Cracker Barrel. Y'all don't even know. This is the best breakfast ever. Yay. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I forgot. I kind of went in on my pancake already. But it was so good. Okay. Maple syrup. The big reveal. First time. Who is he? Still a country boy. No, you ain't a country boy if you never been a crack girl. I'm a country boy. No. Ain't no way. I was about to say, this is way better than I hop. It's better than I hop. He's stepping in his face. That means he likes it. Sasha could be better than his life, Tom. I think it's a great. <laughs> um, it's not too sweet, nice and fluffy thick, and all of a sudden you get the burst of the tart and the blueberry, oh my gosh. Served for a nice sweet note at the very end. Out of bounds. <laughs> Out of bounds. <laughs> Obviously we're only talking about food on today in the vlog, but Look what Gabby did, isn't it beautiful? I'm about to zoom in y'all so y'all can really see this. Ooh. Get mine, get mine. Mine look better anyway. No it doesn't. Does look better. Mine looks better. She made mine a little bit better than yours. No she didn't. Yes she did, cause I got an apple juice and cookies. Whatever. See my say got extra butt on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. See? <laughs> See? Y'all, this is about to be so good. Okay, you taste first so I can get your reaction. All right, bless this for now, Father God. This is my favorite. Amen. Amen. Bone is still on, so that's flavor. <laughs> Leave your meat on the bone, that's flavor. A nice ring of fat. I really cooked down. <laughs> so extra. Giving it great flavor. Oh my gosh. Mm. Out of balance, Cal. <laughs> he always says out of balance. It's always, <laughs> that's what mm. he always says. Mac and cheese. It's bubbly, it's creamy. It's bubbly? It's seasoned well. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, don't forget about the greens. Beautiful broccolini. I mean. You guys need to smell a camera vision this, this stuff. <laughs> There's the chef. If you need services. Outfit combo that I put on. I'm not wearing dresses and tennis shoes. Hey, you know what? You have your own style. You have your own style. Yeah, y'all, y'all see all that mac and cheese over there? It's about to all get ate. I'm heavy-handed. I don't know why I made all the fresh You did make a big old thing of it. I, I. It's okay. It will be ate or eaten. This is the second time I've eaten pasta today. What is life? <laughs> and I didn't go to the tennis court. And we're about to eat Tiff's treats after this. <laughs> I always make room for Tiff. Always make room for Tiff. Okay, y'all. I'm I'm done. I'm eating now. Bye. Hey, y'all. It is, um, what day is it? Tuesday? Tuesday. Um, and I wanted to talk to you guys because I just had this... I just thoughts on my brain okay so can we talk about relationships really fast um, I've been talking to a lot of my friends lately about their relationship issues and like 
things that they're going through, things that they're dealing with. And, you know, at the end of the day, my philosophy is if it's not going to bring you positivity and good vibes, don't deal with it. Like, you should be spending your time on great things and things that make you greater. Not on people that want to play with your emotions and waste your time. They're so, like, honest, I'm, I'm 25. I don't know, a lot of people think I'm younger than that, but I'm 25. And, you know, I've been in a few different relationships by this point, a few situationships by this point, and I've also been very observant my entire life of relationships, of romantic relationships. So I feel like I have a little bit of, you know, know-how when it comes to a healthy relationship, and I'm in a healthy relationship right now. So, uh, in a very happy, healthy relationship. So, I wanted to talk about it because, you know, a lot of people around me they just love me and Mark's relationship. You guys see us on vlogs and stuff and just love us. And I'm, I wanna tell y'all that it took me a while to be in a place where I could be happy like this in a relationship, okay? It was not like a super like easy thing. It wasn't like, oh, like just this miraculous, no. like. I went through a lot of bad situations to get to a good one. And at the end of the day, you know, it took those bad situations to learn what I liked and what I didn't like. And whether the situation was really bad or just kind of bad or not even bad, just not what I wanted, I had to go through those things to understand myself and understand what I liked. Because a lot of times we think that what our family likes, what our parents like, what who our friends like is what we would like in a relationship, right? But that's not necessarily the case. Sometimes, you know, some women don't like flowers and candy. Some women don't, like that's okay. And some people don't like, you know, um, not just chilling at home on a, on a Saturday, but some people do. Like I would rather sit and watch movies with Mark any day than go out and, and be social and stuff like that but I'm a homebody but there are a lot of women who absolutely adore being you know taken out dressing up feeling special in that way and that is also okay you know like everybody has their preference and it's about understanding what your preference is because sometimes I think we see other people experience you know really romantic things or whatever their situation is and we don't necessarily want what is happening to them, but we want the feeling that they have when they are receiving love the way that they're receiving it, right? At the end of the day, we all want to be loved, we all want to be cherished, we all want to be adored and cared for, but that doesn't look the same for all of us, nor will that happen at the same time for all of us. Some people have to go through 20, 30 years of a bad relationship before they reach that level of happiness and love in a relationship. Other people find that at 17 years old and they have it for a lifetime. Now, one thing that you can you know, bank on is that it's not always gonna be pretty and nice and good, that's for sure. But at the end of the day, you have to realize that no relationship is perfect. No situation is going to be seamless. And a relationship takes two people, not four, two people <laughs> to make it work. And you have to be able to sacrifice your selfish wants at times. And what I've learned is that, you know, yes, people say compromise is key when it comes to relationships and that's incredibly true. But at the same time, you should want to compromise for that person. And that person should want to compromise for you. So at the end of the day, compromise doesn't have to have this negative connotation where you, you're, you're not getting everything that you want because you're compromising with this person. But compromise should be a positive thing where, hey, I care about this person's feelings and maybe I am being kind of selfish or maybe I could you know, do this to make them happy and then this part makes me happy and then overall because they're happy and I'm happy, I'm happy because you know everyone's on a good place in a good place but I think that you know in relationships a lot of times like especially when you're young 
Um, you get in relationships with all of these wants and needs, right? Get in relationships with all these wants and needs. Like you want to be loved. You need to be held. You need to be, you know, whatever in the relationship. And we don't really think about what we're giving to the other person. And I'm not saying it always has to be a tangible gift. It doesn't always have to be, you know, doing things for them as far as like cooking and cleaning. Like that's not necessarily, you know, always the way to show your love. And the important thing that that I think is vital to understanding your partner and understanding um, what they want and need is to communicate, figure out what you like and what you don't like. Um, do you like to be held? Do you like me to do things for you? Do you like to spend quality time? You know, those languages of love. You know, if you guys haven't heard of um, the five love languages, if you're in a relationship or talking to somebody, have them take it. See what they score. I had Mark take it when we first started dating and our first three um, love languages matched. They were all the same. So it makes it a bit easier on us because we both receive and give love the same way. But not everybody's like that, right? Some people give and receive love differently. So if you're with somebody and they give love and receive love differently than you do, then you have to cater to their needs and vice versa. But that takes a conversation, right? You have to actually figure out what those things are before you can do that. I think a lot of times, um, you know, you think you're doing something that your partner likes and you don't really know if they like it. Of course, they're going to tell you thank you and all this stuff because that's just what you do when you care about somebody. But are they truly being honest about, you know, what they like and what they don't like? And, you know, maybe if you switched it up or tried something new, they would enjoy that better than what they're what you're doing to them now because they've never experienced that other thing before. So that's why it's important to, you know, take those relationships that may not end well or may not really go far, but really dissect who you are in the relationship, how you were treated, what did you like, what did you not like, and then bring that learned experience into your next relationship. I guarantee you that it will help and benefit you in so many ways, so many ways. There are so many little bitty stupid fights that I had in past relationships that I would never have with Mark because we're both, and we've talked about this so much, we're both in a place where we've been through sucky situations and we're just like, honestly, our radar for pettiness and smallness in an argument is super sensitive. So a lot of times we, we'll be able to tell like very quickly, like, are we arguing over something really petty and stupid or is this a real issue? And usually it's something small and stupid and we'll forget about it like an hour or two later. And But it takes one of us, usually him, not gonna lie, <laughs> takes one of us to stop and say, hey, is, does this really matter? Like, does this really matter? And we end it. We just let it go. And sometimes, you know, usually, I'm still in a place where if my mood is jacked up, it's jacked up for a little while. But you know, that just, that takes, you know, the other person to be, to know you well enough to know, hey, you know, she needs a second before we jump on to the next, you know, conversation or the next thing. Like, let me give her a few minutes to just cool off. Even though, yes, we've forgiven each other and it's over, the argument is done. Let me just give her some time to just, you know, chill out for a second. And he knows that about me because one, I've showed him that and two, I've told him that. Like, hey. You got to give me a second before trying to make me laugh, okay? I understand you're trying to make me feel better, but I need you to just, like, stop talking and let me, like, you know, digest the situation. And that's how I am. And you know what? Not everybody's like me, but because I'm able to vocalize that I'm like that, you know, he knows how to respond to me because he's like, oh, okay, let me... So now I know how to, you know, handle you in this situation or that situation. So... I just, you know, I wanted to just talk about that and, you know, and, and, and I feel like, I don't know, I have divorced parents and also my dad has remarried and been with his wife, my stepmother for, you know, close to 16, 17 years. So I've seen a lot of variety of, of healthy relationships, not so healthy relationships, but you know, that's one thing also is that I used to think for a long time that because my mother had divorced, been divorced a couple times, that I was gonna be divorced a couple times. Like, I already assumed that I was not gonna have a healthy relationship, that I wasn't gonna be in a relationship 
that was completely good. Even though I saw my dad in a wonderful relationship for years, I never like thought that that could be me. But the thing is, it's not even about your parents or your friends or your family. It's about what you choose for yourself. You know, do you want to be happy? You have to choose that. You have to choose to be happy. Like, that's just what it is. And I think that not enough of us choose that. Not enough of, enough of us cognitively think. I am going to be happy today. And anything that doesn't make me happy has no room in my life. You have to make that determination. So, I hope you guys um, take heed of some of that. And, and, and really think about that. Because I think that as simple as it, it, it sounds to choose happiness, it's really hard sometimes. It really is. So, I pray that you guys... And hope that you guys think about that and think about your lives and think about, you know, am I happy right now? And if I'm not happy, how can I change that? Hey y'all, so I am about to make some apple crisp. If you have not heard of the apple crisp ministries, you have been asleep. Um, so I grew up eating apple crisp. My dad actually has a recipe that he's had in his side of the family forever. And while that is ultimately my favorite version of apple crisp, I also have a second favorite, which is this mix from Cracker Barrel. So I got this when I was there yesterday eating, and this is my favorite apple crisp mix. It's super simple. Literally all it is is brown sugar, unbleached wheat flour, rolled oats, um, sugar, spices, and salt. That's it. But it is so good. I'm making my apple crisp with these fried apples. These are canned apples, but you can obviously um, get any kind of apples, but they sell both of these at the little Cracker Barrel store. So I was like, yeah, let me get some. And we're about to have um, some family over. So I figured I would be domestic and make some for everybody. Um, so Mark is gonna make some salmon and broccoli for everyone. We're going to use the rest of the, uh, or eat the rest of the mac and cheese that Gabby made yesterday, cause she made a ton. So it just, it was perfect for us to have family over tonight because um, he's about to leave in two days and you know, gives us time to like hang out and everything. And plus, you know, get rid of this food. So I'm gonna make this and it's pretty simple. It's just this mix here, some butter, and then you put it on top of the apples, let it bake, and then you're ready to go. Just throw some vanilla ice cream on top of there, and so freaking good. It's like everything. It's the perfect like fall dessert. Well, really any time dessert, but specifically because it is fall, it's a great dessert to have and to share because um, it's like warm and like the vanilla ice cream is cold on top. It's just it's everything. So if you haven't tried apple crisp, you totally should. We just got to Portland. Finally. Finally. We just Finally. ate some Chipotle. It wasn't good though. Mine was really cold. Mm -hmm. Start my day. <laughs> Excited. Better still. get ready. It's like going to a new school for the first time mm -hmm. and you don't know nobody. Yeah. Or you know people that's older than you, they're like seniors and you're coming in as a freshman. Mm -hmm. It's weird. But that's my situation. I'll do great. I'm a, I'm a freshman. All over again. Y'all, so we record. just, oh, we did it? We um, just, we just left the um, employee store. Well, we're still here, but we're walking. I walked up to him, I was like, yo, what up, Mark? <laughs> now I'm joking. I walked up, he shook my hand, he was like, Mark. I was like, oh, me too. It was dope. It was dope. It was she was cool. scared. Hey, listen. I was. I was like, you want to go say what's up? I fan oh, watch out, watch out. Like, she, was, she was scary. I um, fangirled inside. He's like a lot bigger. Like, let me tell you what's you out. Like, he was wearing like a Jordan workout shirt. He was just shopping. Like, it was nothing to it but to do it. Can you just open I'm trying oh, to. Oh, my gosh. Can we let her go out first? And I'm opening the door. Like, why y'all like getting used to that? Open your door so I'm going to get in the car. He was taking forever. But I'm trying. I was telling him. Look. I just shook Mark Wahlberg's hand. Just because you didn't, you don't have a story I'm to not, tell. I'm Your not. Your story ends at, we saw Mark Wahlberg. Whatever. My story extends, okay? Whatever. <laughs> it was so crazy, though. Like, low-key, me and Simone really love him. Like, we love him. Right. And I got too nervous, and I couldn't say anything. Can't say a word. But he just, like, walks up. 
Hey man, I just want to shake your hand. Yeah, I I did. I mean, like, what I'm say? Hey man, I just want to goose your leg. Like, no. What? <laughs> oh, y'all didn't use goose when you was a kid. Oh no, I don't know what that like, means. Like before, you know, we could say sex because my parents thought, you know, you know, sex wasn't appropriate for little kids to say. We would say goosing. So like, like dry humping with your clothes on. Oh. Like goosing. So, like I was that was goosing in the closet. I never said goosing. I've never. Yo, if you're a '90s baby from Oak Cliff, you know what goosing is. If you're from the hood in in Dallas, you know, like goosey goosing. Yeah, that's what we used to say. Weird, right? If I say goosing, now the kid, oh, what the? Fuck? We say sex. We say. F okay. Right? Can you? Ch oh, okay, bye, bye, yeah. vlog, because he's just doing too much for me right Bleak. now. Too tall for me, but it's Saturday. Dude thought I was waving him. <laughs> like, he's like, I would wave at you, buddy. You want me to? That makes you happy. You know? nice Some people just like waves for no reason, so then you know, I wave. But being friendly. Yeah, no. Being friendly. Friendly, friendly's a big deal. Like this lady coming up, she has a bitch bottom in her face. I'm gonna say something to her. How you doing today, miss? <laughs> good. Coffee looks it's good. Like fun. We are. We're having a blast. Okay. <laughs> Oh, You're so hey, friendly. I mean, you gotta be, you know, in a world in 2016, where you know we have the worst presidential candidates of all time. You gotta be friendly. Like you just have to. You never know. That could save your life. Yeah. You never know. Well, we're oh, we're headed to the car. We just had some breakfast at a place called Love Joy, and it was super cute in there. I wish I would have yeah. gotten our food. We got like little breakfast sandwiches, and they were really good. And we had fresh orange juice, and we got some cake. Yeah, um, cookies and milk cake. Cookies and milk cake. Basically a chocolate chip cookie cake. That's a good. We couldn't walk it. away. We couldn't walk away without it. Show it to back, no? Okay, open it. Ooh. Ooh. It's about to get real. There's it's like cookie real. dough layers in there. Yeah, there's like cookie dough in it. Like, just layered on layered of cookie it's about to get amazingness. real. Amazingness. Yeah. But yeah, so we're going to... Um, grab some coffee because we can't get started without our Starbucks, even though we just had breakfast. And then we just get excited started eating already but it is bomb so good that was so good yeah, that was epic. oh god it was so good and it's still alive look it's still yeah, alive still alive all day we ate it there i waited there for like 30 minutes five state Oh it's my legit gosh. though. So good. You ever come to Portland? Gosh, so, that was that was like that was really everything. Pine State biscuit. This shit is awesome. Oh my god. Awesome. Another note. <laughs> of course, of course. What? <laughs> well her too to rub something off on her. Her too. Yes, I well, I I am a fan, okay? I'm a fan too. Go cowboys. This is the end. It's cowboys fans everywhere. Like no matter where oh you go. God. That's okay. Cowboys fan. He's a Cowboys fan too. Uh, Not to be because he beat Kyle last week. He doesn't have a choice because we beat the Packers already. So he's a fan. We have to cheer for us the rest of the season. All right. This is the end of this week's vlog. This is the end. This is the end of this week's vlog. This is the end of this week's vlog. Week 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 see y'all next week. Have a good one. Hold on. What? Y'all see how Juju on that beat? Do the Juju no, on that. No, I'm the, not. You don't want to see it, I'm don't y'all? Comment below if you want to see Jay Juju on that beat. I'm trying to get her to do it. Deleting Comment the comments. Comment below. Deleting the Comment comments. Below Goodbye. If Goodbye. you want to see